Hey everybody, so today I thought we could do a little bit of art together. So I'm in my kitchen and this is my favorite place to do art. So we are set up at my kitchen table and I thought we would talk first about some of the materials that we're gonna be needing for this art project. And of course, it's an Easter art project because we love Easter and I do especially. All right, so the very first thing I have is I have the shape of, what is it? Yeah, it's an egg. That's the shape of an egg. So I cut out this shape of an egg out of a pretty thick paper. So mommies and daddies, this could be watercolor paper. I had cardstock, so that's what I'm using today. Go ahead and cut out that uh, shape of an egg for your blue room student. And um, then you'll also need a white crayon. It's the one that never gets used and we finally have something to do with it. Okay, I've got my watercolors as it's going to be a watercolor project. I have a paper towel and um, this is where you can dab off if you have any extra. I have my cup of water and my paintbrush. And you can see that I've already done a little bit of painting today. So I made one and it has been drying so that I could show you before we got started. Okay, so it's a wax resist watercolor egg. Okay, so this is the one that I made. Isn't that so beautiful? So the first thing that I did was I drew all of these white spots with my white crayon. And at first it looked like nothing was there. You couldn't see anything, it was all invisible. But then I started to paint on all this pretty blue watercolor and it popped up. All these lines and the shapes that I drew appeared because okay, the paint doesn't like wax. They don't like this crayon, so it doesn't paint over the crayon. It says, no, 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 right? So I have my egg shape, and we'll go ahead and get started. You can do whatever you want. You get to be creative and artistic with this. So I'm gonna make another one that looks pretty close to that one that I made because I'm gonna give these as Easter presents for my mommy and daddy. So this is a good thing you could give them or you could give to a brother or sister, you could give it to a neighbor, you could send it to grandma and grandpa in the mail, whatever you whatever you wanna do with it, that would be great. Or you could just hang it up on the wall and it'd be Easter decorations. So go ahead and start drawing, get your white crayon. And I'm gonna make mine look the same. You have to press down pretty hard with the white crayon. And remember, you're not gonna be able to see it until you start painting, so this part You'll just kind of have to be creative and see what lines you want to make or maybe some squiggles and some circles. Whatever you are thinking is going to be perfect. All right, so make sure you keep on pressing down really hard. I really like the way it looks when you do a bunch of lines. So see if you can draw some lines on there maybe. Or maybe you wanna draw a heart or a flower if you can do that. You could write your name if that sounds like fun to you. Whatever you want. Make it your own creation. So I think I'm gonna stop at just the lines today. Okay, and then you'll get your, your watercolors out. All right. So you get a little bit of water on your paintbrush and you dip it into the paint. And remember, you need a little bit of water to get it started. So I'm going to use, I'll use purple for this one. So get a little purple on there. Go ahead and just paint all over your paper. Paint, paint, paint. You get a little bit more purple. And I remember, you, this is your egg. This is your beautiful creation. So you can do whatever colors you want to do on it. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit more water. Go back for some more purple. I think I'm gonna make mine all one color. But if you wanted to do more than one color, 
go for it. I want to see what all of your beautiful creations are going to be. I love painting. This is so much fun, and especially around Easter time. Because these watercolors just look even more beautiful. They're all the perfect Easter colors. So this is such a beautiful light purple color. So great. All right. So I am finished with mine. And I'll go ahead and show you what it's going to look like. But don't worry, just keep on going if you're not if you're not done with yours. See, I had practice. I did mine. I did one already, so I knew what I was doing, and I was pretty quick with it. But definitely, just keep on working. All right. So look at my beautiful purple egg. Do you see those lines that I drew with the white crayon that showed through? Isn't that great? Isn't that so beautiful? All right, so that is my purple egg, and I hope that when you finish your beautiful watercolor eggs, you'll send me a picture of you holding it up. Make sure to write your name on the back so that, we, that everybody knows that it's your creation. An artist always signs their work, okay? So make sure that you send me a picture. I wanna see it. I wanna see all your beautiful artwork. You're such creative artists, and you're so, so good at it, all right? So that is it for our Easter project, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.